Hey, what up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you and uh, WrestleMania 32 feels like it's the biggest WrestleMania of all time because of the fact that it's very hard to find a ticket on Ticketmaster. I don't think it's been announced that it's officially sold out as of yet, but I keep bringing up the fact that, you know, when WrestleMania 32 was announced um, for Dallas, it, it just seemed like it was going to be the hugest WrestleMania. I don't know if people were thinking about, you know, Rock versus Austin and the Astrodome and uh, Triple H versus Undertaker and how big um, that WrestleMania was at WrestleMania 17. Uh, way back in the day. Um, I, I don't know if they were sort of living off that or maybe they, that there were so many legends uh, that they thought they could use because it's in the state of Texas and how much there is a, a pride uh, between Texas wrestling uh, with Stone Cold Steve Austin, Shawn Michaels, The Undertaker, that all of these guys would be coming back and having huge historic matches at WrestleMania. But, um, you know, one after another all said that they weren't going to do it. And, you know, everybody's sort of been holding on that The Rock is going to wrestle. Uh, and then last week we got the word that The Rock is, is not going to be able to wrestle uh, more than likely because he is uh, going to be filming a movie and there's insurance problems and uh, the people that want to insure The Rock and insure the movie want to make sure that he's not going to be wrestling because of the fact that um, there's so much um, of a risk of him getting into the ring. Uh, he really almost rest, uh, messed up Hercules, um, you know, back at WrestleMania 29 when he tore his abdomen. Uh, but now the word is coming out that the, the Rock is going to be actually filming a movie as of WrestleMania weekend, and it might be hard for him to attend the event. Honestly, when it comes down to it, um, you know, I pick on The Rock a lot. Um, you know, he, he is one of the best wrestlers of all time when it comes to, you know, the guy who is a star. Um, and maybe I hold a little bit of a grudge uh, against him because he did leave wrestling. He told us that he was going to, you know, go to Hollywood, make a movie and he'd be back. And he never came back. I mean, he was gone until WrestleMania 27, and then when he did, he came back, and it was huge. He really, you know, helped the business with WrestleMania 27, WrestleMania 28. You can debate if he helped us with WrestleMania 29, and, uh, you know, he stayed, he stayed true to his word. I mean, he's not on every Raw, he's not on every SmackDown, he's not on every pay-per-view, um, but when he came back... Um, you know, he said that he, he was he was home and he wasn't leaving us. And he does show up when we need him. Uh, you know, like he's not going to come for everything. But um, for those to say that The Rock's going to be shooting a movie, WrestleMania weekend, it's going to be hard for him to attend. Don't remember WrestleMania 31. Uh, I mean, like he didn't play the hugest part of WrestleMania 31. He was there. He did the promo uh, with uh, The Rock and Triple H. Uh, well, he was The Rock, but Triple H and Stephanie. And then he brought in uh, Ronda Rousey. But the night before, he filmed Saturday Night Live. Um, that show, you know, finished filming, um, and he flew all the way across country to be at WrestleMania. He, he, took his, he took his jet, flew from New York to San Jose. Just so he can be at WrestleMania. He didn't want to do anything else. Um, he could have been anywhere else in the world and he chose to come to WrestleMania. I'm sure that WWE gave him, gave him a nice, you know, good paycheck for being there and having the moment with Ronda Rousey in the ring with Triple H and, and Stephanie. But you know, when it comes down to it, Rock's the guy who's got a ton of money. He's a huge star. WrestleMania 31 probably didn't help him out uh, that much when it comes to, you know, any of his movies that were coming out around that time. It just was a, a great feeling and a great story for wrestling fans. I mean, uh, when The Rock showed up on Monday Night Raw and did that program with Rusev, uh, when The Rock showed up at that uh, Boston Garden house show uh, and did that promo, you know, th this is a guy who knows where he came from. He's as humble as he could be. I don't think that The Rock is, is turning away and running away from wrestling. If The Rock wants to be at WrestleMania 32 and he feels that this this is going to be one of the biggest shows of all time, The Rock's going to be there. I guarantee it. I, I don't believe the story saying that The Rock's just closing the door on WrestleMania 32. If, if Vince and the people that write the show come up with a good idea for The Rock and they find a way for him to get there, whether if that's the WWE jet or Rock has his own jet and you know they'll, they'll, they'll sign the check, the Rock's going to be there. I guarantee you that. 